Guys, get over here! What is it? My younger brother had this idea, which was initially a, a sort of a very dark, bleak ending to a script he couldn't get to work, and the film ended with this child buried in a box, and then the credits rolled, which was, you know, kind of as dark as Seven almost, you know. And then I said, well, okay, well, if it's not working there, I love this sort of thing, can we instead take that idea as the catalyst, put it into much earlier in the script, and have it kickstart the whole sort of plot of the movie? I play Alison, who's an expert rock climber with a group of friends, and she's out on this big journey, and then she sees this air pipe and hears a sound and opens up this hole and sees a little girl in a school uniform and doesn't quite know how she got there, but re then realises that she's just intercepted one of the biggest kidnapping plots in Scottish history between the Europeans and the, the father and the, oh my gosh, and then she basically is not only is it difficult for her to climb on her own, but she's taking this little girl to safety. You know, if you're in the middle of absolutely nowhere, which is the perfect place to sort of do the crime, but it's also an incredibly dangerous terrain, which lends itself to hopefully a lot of, you know, really exciting sequences. It was certainly a, a physical experience, yeah, definitely. I, I think from the stunt element, I tried to do as much as, as sort of producer jurisdiction would allow me to do, but I, uh, you can't take any credit away from a fantastic stunt team. I mean, Jamie Edgell was a brilliant stunt coordinator. I mean, the stunt team and the climbing team were great. I mean, there was a thing where a big rock got dislodged by a crew member on the side of Bukaletti Moor, and this was a thing the size of a small portable telly, and it just built up speed and went bang, 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 through the crew, missing uh, people by that much. And it was like, it was like a bomb going off in Piccadilly Circus. And suddenly this fear just spread through the crew. It was at the end of one of the filming days. And, you know, from that day we were like, right, whoever doesn't absolutely need to be essentially up this mountain, get the hell off the damn thing. The film is full of very, a lot of variables, from tough personalities to a lot of rejection, to being cast based on your beauty, not about your talent. But the one thing I could say is when somebody says no, just keep going. You're always going to have somebody that wants your job, so you just have to just be the best at what you do and just keep going for it. And I don't know how I started acting, I just got lucky. 